I asked you to name the scariest, most ferocious animal in our planet's oceans, chances are you'd probably pick one of these tooth-filled monsters. But as terrifying as they are, there's another marine animal that strikes fear into the heart of every shark in the ocean. Dolphins. That's right, despite their happy, smiley faces, Flipper is hiding a deadly secret. There's a common misconception floating around that sharks are the apex predator of the ocean. This is because of a couple of reasons. The first reason probably has something to do with a particular movie directed by Steven Spielberg in 1975. Jaws absolutely terrified audiences with the tale of a vindictive, killer great white shark named Bruce. Even though Bruce was an animatronic prop made out of fiberglass, fear of being eaten alive still stops people from swimming in the ocean, even to this day. The second reason is the body count. Sharks claim the lives of around 10 people every year while injuring around 70. But it takes a lot more than just impressive human casualty rates to be crowned king of the ocean. You might be surprised to learn that the dominant creature in the deep is none other than the humble dolphin. Yep, even the great white shark swims in the other direction when he sees a pod of dolphins in the distance. But why? Dolphins have forever been man's best friend in the water. Curious, playful, even helpful in times of need. So what about them makes them shark kryptonite? Well, it turns out they aren't as innocent as they look, and despite their permanent grin, dolphins have a dark side. But first things first, what exactly counts as a dolphin? Dolphins are a family of aquatic mammals generally found in the warmer waters of the tropic zones. There are exceptions, of course, but the vast majority of the 36 species alive today prefer to avoid the cold. They're characterized by their streamlined bodies, large dorsal fin, a pair of flippers, and a powerful, triangular rear tail that's positioned horizontally for speed and maneuverability. This allows them to reach speeds of up to 30 kilometers an hour in short bursts, or leap up to 9 meters out of the water's surface. Being mammals, dolphins are warm-blooded, and like whales, they have lungs which breathe regular air. For this reason, dolphins have to periodically surface in order to breathe using a single nostril on the tops of their head called a blowhole. A single breath can allow dolphins to dive back down for up to 10 minutes. However, most dolphins surface to breathe around two to three times a minute. Oh, and another fun fact, breathing is a conscious movement for dolphins, which makes sleep very interesting. While we humans have a breathing reflex that kicks in as soon as we fall asleep, dolphins have to consciously remember to expel and inhale air through their blowhole. I don't know about you, but waking up two to three times per minute to breathe sounds like an exhausting way to get a good night's sleep. Luckily, dolphins have literally hatched a half-brain scheme to stop themselves from drowning. When getting some shut-eye, dolphins can rest one half of their brain while the other half stays alert to enable the dolphin to continue breathing and look out for dangers in the environment. Likewise, a dolphin sleeps with one eye open. The left eye will be closed when the right half of the brain sleeps and vice versa. Incredibly social and highly intelligent, dolphins travel in groups called pods with up to 30 other dolphins. They hunt as a group, communicate as a group, they even tend to mate as a group. Wait, what? In contrast, sharks are lonesome, solitary killers, patrolling the ocean for their next meal. It's this dolphin camaraderie that often sees a whole pod of dolphins take on a shark and win. When a single member of the pod is injured, threatened, or in danger, the other members of the group will rush in to protect their friend. This means that if a shark tries to pick off or ambush a dolphin that's been separated from the pod, a few clicks and whistles and the rest of the pod will come racing in for a fight. Now, if we ignore orcas for a second, yes, orcas are considered dolphins. Most of them measure between 2 and 4 meters long. On the other hand, a great white can reach up to 6.5 meters, dwarfing the much smaller dolphin. On paper, it hardly sounds like a fair fight. But dolphins have a couple tricks up their sleeve. The first one is agility. While sharks are big and powerful, their vertically oriented tail means that changing direction, especially when moving up or down, can be a little slow. On the other hand, dolphins are supremely flexible, and their horizontal tail means they can turn, 
spin, and change direction at a moment's notice. A dolphin's second advantage over their shark nemesis is a superior intellect. Dolphins have apparently taken Shark Anatomy 101 and know exactly where to strike in order to cause the greatest damage. Typically, dolphins aim for a shark's gills or soft underbelly, launching themselves at high speed towards the shark and ramming them with their hardened snouts. A well-placed strike can be fatal, with underbelly strikes causing extensive internal bleeding, organ rupture, or irreparable damage to the shark's gills, causing them to very quickly drown. Don't get me wrong, sharks can and do eat dolphins that are busy crater feeding, a technique where a dolphin positions themselves vertically, snout buried in the sand while they sift for small fish and crustaceans. Sharks exploit a dolphin's blind spot while in this position, ambushing and making quick work of the poor animal. Sharks will also often target dolphins that have become separated from their pod. However, more often than not, sharks will take a wide berth when they see a pod of dolphins up ahead. But it's not just their own kind that dolphins save from the jaws of sharks. On multiple occasions, pods of dolphins have put themselves in between hungry great whites and divers, encircling them until the sharks leave. They've even rescued people from drowning. Yes, dolphins and humans share a special bond, but sometimes that bond is a little too special. <laughs> At a tourist spot in Veradero, Cuba, it's almost guaranteed that a dolphin will mount the floating platform and also whoever is brave enough to lie down on it. Despite the interspecies romance, one burning question remains. Has a dolphin ever killed a human being? The sad answer to that question is a tragic yes. Back in 1994 in Sao Paulo, Brazil, two drunk men thought it would be fun to swim out to a dolphin they spotted on Caragua Tatuba Beach and antagonize it. João Paulo Moreira and Wilson Reis Pedroso were repeatedly headbutted by the dolphin as they attempted to ride it and tie objects to its tail. These headbutts were particularly vicious, with both men sustaining broken ribs from the attack. Moreira's injuries were significantly worse, however. The repeated strikes caused massive internal bleeding, resulting in Moreira's death a few days later. But that was a wild dolphin. What about ones we keep in captivity? Well, it turns out the numbers are even worse. You might remember the story of Tilikum, the orca who lived and performed at Orlando's SeaWorld. On three separate occasions between 1991 and 2010, Tilikum was responsible for the death of two trainers and a man who snuck into Tilikum's sleeping tank in the middle of the night. Dolphins are rarely human aggressive, but they will respond if you're causing pain or discomfort. Luckily, dolphins remain man's aquatic best friend, and they're way more likely to help than harm us. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like, and if you're not already subscribed, please hit that big red button right now. See you next time.